George, welcome to Paris. I'm curious, you've seen a lot of things in this sport. What does it mean to the sport to finally get to France? Uh, man, it, it, I, I wish I would have been able to fight in Paris. Unfortunately, the sport was illegal at the time, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here today and witness the, the, the first show in, in France. So I think it's going to be a great show and, uh, and I can't wait. Yeah. It's a great main event. You know, Cyril Garn is a unique guy for heavyweight. How do you see his performance on Saturday going in that fight with time? And Cyril Garn, he's got all the skills and all the, 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 the talent in the world to be a, a great champion. I think that the best is ahead to come for him. And, um, but he's got a hell of a challenge in front of him. I think it's going to be a great fight. Whoever going to win this fight, I believe, will uh, one day become a, ch a champion. But of course, my heart is with Cyril because I'm, I'm friend with him. Let's say John Jones fights Steve Miocic in December, and then the winner of that fight is Francis. How do you see Cyril playing it against John Jones if that fight were to ever happen? Wow, it's a it's a clash of styles. You know what I mean? Um, John Jones is known like to, to be to be the best in the sport. You know so. But he never fought that every weight. It will be interesting how he will adapt to every weight. I, I'm, I'm confident that after a long layoff, John Jones has all the skills to come back like, like he was when he had his, 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 uh, his reign at light every weight. And um, I just don't know how it's going to play out. It's one of these things that sometimes times could change the data. But there are so many X factor that we don't know, but I'm very excited. It's a great time to be a UFC fan, uh, especially when I when I look at what is going on in the heavyweight division. George, just over here. Yes, please. Just here. Uh, just to go off of that, how do you see John Jones matching up with Francis Ngannou and Stipe Miocic? When I met John Jones the last time, it was uh, like a year ago, and he, he, he put on a lot of weight, and he seemed very comfortable at that at that weight. So uh, it led me to believe that he's gonna come back as good as he was in the light heavyweight division, except with more uh, more mass, more muscle mass. So I don't know. Um, it's a uh, as a fan, I want to see him like he was at the, at the light heavyweight, and perhaps even better than he was. Uh, but he's got a lot of, he's got great challenges ahead. Uh, he's going to take on Stipe Miocic, and then he's got uh, Francis next, if everything goes according to plan for him. I don't know how it's going to play out, but I, I, I think it's, as, a, as a UFC fan, it's going to be a very entertaining fight. And there's always a debate in the MMA community about who is the greatest of all time. Obviously you are in that conversation, but if you were to take yourself out of that conversation, who do you think is the GOAT? I believe the GOAT is Royce Gracie, because he has, he has done stuff in the sport that I believe will never be done again. He was fighting at the time that there was no weight class. It, the sport was unknown, the rules were different, and it, it took an immense courage to compete at, at that time. So for me, the goal is Royce Gracie, but of course, if you take Royce Gracie and try to put him in the octagon nowadays, the sport has changed so much over the years. He might have not have looked as good as he was back then, of course not. So if you ask me who is the goal, the real answer is, the GOAT is not even born yet, because athlete gets better with time, so the best athletes are still coming. That's great. And of course another legend of the sport is rumoured to be coming back um, and boxing Jake Paul perhaps, uh, Anderson Silva. If that does happen, how do you think he does against Jake Paul? Wow, that's going to be a very entertaining fight. Um, there's so much X factor in, in, in for that fight. You know, you, you got Jake Paul that after every fight he gets so much better. He, 
is improving at a crazy rate, you know? And you got Anderson Silva on the other side, who's a legend, you know? And, and, and he, he did an, an incredible performance against Chavez that nobody was expecting him to win. So it's, it's very difficult to make a prediction on this one. And last one. Try to put me on the spot, don't you? <laughs> last one for me. Um, a big fight next weekend as well with Hamza Shmayev and Nate Diaz. How do you break down that fight? How do you see that going down? Well, this fight is a uh, is a welterweight. I think it favors uh, the odds will be towards Shmayev. I think it favors him because of that. However, Nate Diaz, you you, you can't never count, count him out. He's very well rounded. He's very durable, and it takes it will takes a lot to, to try to to put him away. And Kamzat, it's going to be a tough challenge because he only went the distance in his last fight, I believe. So and 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 I think he grew incredibly. Uh, from that fight, he learns. He learns a lot. So I think we're gonna see a better version of Kamzat, still better than what he was. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting fight. But if I would have to bet on that fight, of course I would have to go with the odds and, and favor uh, Kamzat Shimaya. Right here. Yes, please. So, um, what do you think that Nadia's legacy stands after this last fight? Nate Diaz did a great performance when he fought Leon Edwards. Uh, he was losing the fight, but he finished very strong. He rocked Leon Edwards and it, it, he had a very strong finish. And it, it proves us once again, to, to us once again that it's never over until it's over. You know, and anything can happen. And then we, we saw what happened the other last weekend. Leon Edwards was losing the fight, but he did a beautiful setup with the high kick and won the, the welterweight title. So anything can happen in, in uh, this game. Can you tell us how you uh, reacted when Leon knocked him out? And how do you think the rematch will uh, eventually uh, evolve, happen? Uh, that's what makes the beauty of the sport, sort of. I mean, if you're on the side of the winner, of course, because everything can happen. It would be boring if we would always know who would win. And I don't think it like in any other sport, fighting is, is no different. In, in football, it's not the best team that wins the game. It's the team that play the best the night of the game that will win the game. Fighting is no different. It's not the best fighter that wins the fight. It's the fighter that fight the best. And that night, Kamaru was winning the fight, but he made a crucial mistake that is unforgettable at this level. He zigged when he should have zagged, and, and credit to Leon Edwards, he did a beautiful setup that was amazing, and he won the world title. And now they're gonna have a rematch, uh, hopefully, and, and we'll see, you know, but things change. You never fight the same fighter twice. You can fight the same name twice, but you never fight the same fighter twice. Every fight leaves a scar. It could be for the best or for the worst. And after a loss, very often we see fighters that a loss can affect their confidence. And a confidence is very important for a fighter because you can have all the skills in the world, but if you don't have confidence, it's like someone who has a lot of money in his bank account but no way of accessing it. So, for the magic to happen, you need the skills and the confidence. So we'll see how mentally strong is Kamaru Usman, and if he comes back and wins the title, I think he will add up to his legacy even more. So, but it's going to be a, a hell of a fight, a hell of a challenge. Last question for me: um, What do you miss the most as a retired fighter? I don't miss fighting at all, my friend. I, 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 I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't the plane on my way here this morning, and. and I was with my agent and I was telling him, and I was like, I was like, man, it's so much fun to, to go to, a, to, a, to an event and not fighting. Because when you're fighting, I, I never like to fight. I, 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 I like the freedom that it gives me, of course, the income, the money, the, the wealth, the, you know, the, 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 
the health, because being a professional athlete is a healthy lifestyle, even though it's very dangerous. The access of things that most people don't have. That's why I fight for. I, I fought for having this freedom. But now I'm retired and I have no more stress and I'm the happiest man on the planet.